Hello everyone. Uh, we wanted to take this opportunity because Avita wanted to share a story with you about uh, her benefits from chiropractic care and basically her journey up until uh, what she's experiencing up until now. All right. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Avita. Um, just uh, tell us a little bit about um, your experience before coming to see a chiropractor. Okay. Um, so for myself, I had um, persistent jaw pain. Mm -hmm. That was sort of that I had sort of self-diagnosed as TMJ um, because I was also getting ear pain as well, like ear aches. Um, I also have been having like migraines for a couple of years, but they've gotten worse over the last two years, or they have gotten worse over the last two years. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I was having like migraine headaches as well as tension headaches as well. So that was sort of what brought me here in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Okay. So, I mean, dealing with it for two years, two plus years, seems like mm -hmm. quite a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, explain to us, how did this affect your everyday life because of the symptoms that you're dealing with? Mm -hmm. So, um, for me, um, I always had the um, jaw pain, like the persistent jaw pain. Um, so, especially when I was going to bed, I would find um, that I was having a hard time actually falling asleep. Um, just because I would feel the pain more during the night than during the day, I guess okay. because I was less busy at night. Um, I would also go to bed with headaches, and I will always wake up um, the next day with a headache. Um, it was just sort of like a constant thing for me to just have a headache. And then on occasion, those headaches would also turn into migraines. Mm -hmm. And the migraines were a lot more difficult because they would typically have me sort of down and out for like, like two or three days. Um, and it was really, really difficult to get any sort of relief from it. Um, what would end up happening was a lot of the time I would have to go to the emergency room wow. so that they can give me some sort of um, medication, like a stronger medication than Advil or Tylenol. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can imagine, I mean, being out of commission for two <laughs> or three days kind of takes you away from a lot of the things that are important to you exactly. on a regular basis, right? Yeah, like I was missing work regularly. Um, I wouldn't get to hang out with like my siblings or the rest of my family. Um, a lot of the time, honestly, I was just in my room, okay. <laughs> um, just trying to like sleep off the headaches or the migraines. Uh -huh. It didn't really work, but um, yeah, that was just more or less kind of what was going on with me at the time. So I can imagine, I mean, dealing with, with it for quite some time, you tried your fair share of different remedies and, yeah. and solutions to mm -hmm. kind of uh, at least lessen the, the, the symptoms that you're dealing exactly, with, right? Exactly, yeah. So what is it that brought you into chiropractic in the first place? Um, so actually, the reason I came in um, initially didn't actually have anything to do with the migraines um, or the headaches. Um, I didn't realize until I started chiropractic care that um, those sort of symptoms could be a cause of like, or be caused by like misalignments. Um, I actually came in because of my jaw pain because like I said, I was having trouble sleeping. Um, and it was persistent and I just wanted something. I had looked, um, through like, uh, like YouTube and Google about chiropractic care and TMJ. And I really wanted to try it for that. Um, and then by a stroke of luck, it just so happened that it also affected or positively affected like my migraines and my headaches, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so what you came to understand, I mean, through the assessments that we did that uh, your neck was quite involved in mm -hmm. a lot of the issues that you're dealing with, mm -hmm. right? So what we did was we went through a course of adjustments to uh, kind of remedy the issue, but also get to the very source of the issue, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and improve on your overall alignment. And mm -hmm. we've seen great things happen after all of that, right? Yeah. And even to the point that even right now you're maintaining, right? To, yeah, exactly. So I come sure, in yeah. regularly still <laughs> because I think it's more of like a lifestyle thing than just like a temporary fix, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, like I know that I've sort of shared before um, how for me, I didn't actually realize that I had stopped having the migraines um, because they were such a constant in my life. I d they just sort of dropped off. And mm -hmm. I think it was like maybe five or six months down the line, I realized, oh wait, I haven't had a migraine in like mm -hmm. a really long time, which was the weirdest thing. I remember being so excited. Um, I shared it with like my siblings right away and they were like, oh yeah, I haven't heard you complain. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. good. So. so other than, I mean, um, not experiencing any more migraines. Is there anything else that uh, you're feeling right now that uh, was different than before? Yeah, um, it's really helped a lot with like my posture because I tend to slouch a lot. Okay. Um, so I've found that it's helped with like my upper back, like muscle cramping, um, my lower back as well. 
um, obviously like I said, the headaches, the migraines, but it's also sort of allowed me to become like a little bit more active. Um, so I've been able to like move around a lot more. I run up and down the stairs quite a bit now. Um, I just feel like a lot more comfortable in like my own body right. and I'm not like constantly in pain, which is great. Right. Like, that's very, <laughs> it's different from what I was experiencing two years ago, right? So, so more than just yeah. the decrease in uh, symptoms, it's mm -hmm. increase in function as well. Exactly. Right? That's mm -hmm. good. Uh, so anything else you feel is important for us to touch on about uh, your experience with chiropractic? Yeah, like I've, I've definitely said this before, but I'll say it again that I really am just grateful um, that I was able to like, actually like take this on. Um, I think that the main thing that I want to say is that um, I think it's definitely like something that's like worth exploring. If you do have like migraines or you have um, TMG or like jaw pain, um, for me, it really, really um, positively impacted my life in the sense that I'm able to do things that I wasn't able to do before. I've definitely talked about it to a lot of people in my family that also have um, similar issues that I went through. Um, and I know like I say this all the time, but it's definitely something that I'm going to continue because even just apart from I'm no longer experiencing that type of pain. Um, it's also just really, really nice being able to be active and just do things and be present mm -hmm. um, with the people like around me. So that's something that I've really come to appreciate with um, the constant care that I've been getting. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's great to hear that because mm -hmm. it essentially comes down to, again, it's far more than just the collection of symptoms. It's mm -hmm. getting back to the things that are most important to you, right? It's things exactly. that you value the most. Mm -hmm. So um, removing the obstacles such as a migraine that mm -hmm. uh, stand in the way so that uh, we can get you at your best, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Avita, for uh, sharing that uh, with all of us. And hopefully mm -hmm. those who are listening can uh, benefit from the story that you shared with us today. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. awesome.